hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a drawstring pouch for any back shape you'll need a fabric here i'm using the doll face bridal satin but you can choose to use any fabric of your choice you also need a cord but you can choose to use any cord that appeals to you whether it's an organza ribbon or the yarn you use to crochet your back if it's a crochet back you are working with and then you need a thread safety pin and a sewing needle in case you don't have a machine you're just going to use this sewing needle where the machine is being used on this video for this tutorial i'll be referencing three shapes of back in order for you to know how to take your profile measurements now the first one i'm going to take measurements for is the square shaped back now this is the one that i'll be representing our square shaped back in case your back is like this you're going to take your tape and you place it just like this and then you take it to the center now for this back design it has an obstruction it won't give me exactly what i need so instead i take my measurements from the inside so that i get the measurements correctly i take the height of the back and then i take half of the base measurement which is giving me about five so now for the height of the back it's equals to five now the second part we need to take note of is this um part you're going to determine how long you want yours to be so now that mine is three i'm going to times three times two which will give me six now i'm going to add that why i'm times three times two is because i'm going to fold it so it will be like three times two because i folded it so which will give me six plus this folding part i folded the brim here so this folding part took me just one inch plus one you're going to weave, weave your material you don't need to add this one to it now in total the height of our, of our back will give us 12 inches so now for the width of the back you're going to take your back and place it like this this under half and then you go to half of the base which is giving me around seven and a half inches so now the width is seven and a half now for the both side you are going to be folding it but if you are weaving the both side you don't need to add any allowance now for each side the folding allowance i'm giving is two for the width we have nine and a half now for the round back this is the back we'll be using for the round back and it also look like this back right here i'll put the picture anywhere here you're going to place your tape like this and you go go to the half of the base here it's giving me eight and a half so eight and a half plus you know you are going to sew both sides which will in total give us ten and a half for the width now for the height you're going to measure it the exact same thing which will also give us i think the exact same eight and a half for the eyes you're always going to remember this flower part now for mine is six plus one for the folding allowance so that is 15 and a half this will represent our cylindrical back this was the video i did tutorial on and i promised a drawstring back so if you've not watched the video go and check it out this bag is beautiful to take the measurements for the cylindrical back i'm going to take your measurements like this and then half of the base which is eight and a half so it will be eight and a half plus six fifteen and a half now for the width we're going to measure round this is how you measure round for the back giving me 15 so now this round measurement you are going to divide it by two which is seven and a half plus two you know what our two means now and then to give us nine and a half so this is what you are going to replicate in your fabric now let me go and replicate my own i'll come back i've replicated my measurements on my fabric this is the eyes 15 and a half 
and then this is the width nine and a half so now the next thing you're going to do is to fold the edges of your work this is where the main work is seriously so now you're going to fold the right side inside like this this is the right side of my fabric and this is the wrong side of my fabric so i'm going to fold it like this as you can see i'm going to do that and i'm going to sew on this point down to the end now if you are using a sewing needle this is where you start sewing you sew this point all up to the end of this fabric when you are done with that you're going to do that same thing for this other side you fold it the same way you did the first one you make sure you don't pass one inch you don't fold this place too big so that from here to this point that you are folding to be one inches now i'm done doing mine as you can see the folding is not too wide just like i explained earlier now the next thing you need to do is to fold this other side now you're going to fold like this then you are going to sew it all up to the end there and you're going to repeat same for the other side now after you've done that for both sides now we're going to be folding our three inches that we left so this is how you're going to do it and then you are going to sew on this point here so when we are done with that we are going to take out one inches this would be a sp the space where our yarn or cord will pass through so after you've marked these two points now you are going to sew from here to this exact point so make sure you keep the same machine straight or if you're using your hand you make sure you do it straight this is how it should be looking now after you are done doing all of this you're going to replicate the exact same thing on the other end of your fabric now i've already done this other side so now we'll move on to the next step now the next thing you're going to do you're going to fold your fabric like this and then remember this is the front of the fabric front to front and then you're going to sew these two parts now when you reach this point here you're going to stop and then you jump to this place you're not going to sew along this place if you're using your hand to sew you're going to sew from this point to this point you stop here and you continue to this point So when you are done with that, return your work and our drawstring back is ready. So now as you can see this yarn is very white, even maybe your ribbon will be very white. So this is how you are going to make it steamer. So when you are done with that, you're going to determine how long you want your yarn to be. But for mine, I like um, making one short and one long. Just to get that by. So now after that, you're going to tie. And so we've come to the end of this tutorial. And I really, really hope you enjoyed and if you did kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on more content to come and i'll see you in my next video bye